I have discovered something that is nothing short of amazing. And I'm, I still like can't believe that I figured this out. Uh, but this is like, you can throw away all of my other videos, all of my recordings, all of my tips and tricks and, and free information that I've just lavished upon you and other people uh, to try to help you achieve your goal with your product or your business idea. So I'm gonna share with you in this video right now how to find this resource that literally has everything that you need already. And I almost feel foolish for having spent so many years you know, trying to coach people and give them advice and show them how to launch their products when they already have the ticket to success uh, in their own possession as we speak and have had it their whole lives. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to find it, how to identify it, and how to start using it like right now, like as soon as you finish this video. It is gonna require that you actually listen to this video in full and not get distracted by a notification or anything else. So like I said, like this is one of my most important videos. Um, so if you actually care about achieving success, then, then listen to this video, please. Okay, and don't do it for me, it's for you. All right, anyways, let's find this secret resource, okay? So you either have it in your home, uh, even if you're not at home right now, you actually do have it with you. But I'm gonna show you how to find it, first of all, if you're at home. So I want you to go to either your bedroom or closet or even bathroom, you probably have it there too. Uh, and find the nearest mirror, okay? Now, uh, look into the mirror and what you should see if you're like most people, is there's actually a human staring right back at you. And in fact, even if you don't have a mirror, like literally just look down and you'll see like a set of hands and legs. And um, yeah, like you're actually in possession of a human being, believe it or not. And you can use this human being as a slave or an assistant to help you achieve your goals. And <clears throat> the best part about it is that like, getting this human being to work for you to help make you a millionaire, you know, in, in a relatively short period of time is free. Like that's the crazy part about this. Like you can control this, this, this human and make it do what you want. I mean, I still can't believe that I figured this out, but, um, here's the, like what I would recommend you do is like you clearly, you know, you have the desire, right? You have the desire to build and launch your product. And you also have other desires for that matter, like losing weight, you know, uh, whatever it is, whatever goal that you have. And you now have this free resource that you can use, which is this human, and you can force it to, to do your will. And not only that, but you can force it to learn, you can force it to execute stuff, not execute people, but execute stuff. Okay, let's cut the bullshit. I think you get my point, right? Let's, let's get real, uh, you know, drop the analogy. I think you get what I'm trying to say, which is you already have the ticket to success right now, which is you. But the problem is you're not using you. You're not using your body and your time and your talents and your mind to achieve your goal. And it is very, very true that the number one thing that you have right now is your time and your abilities and your work, right? Like your potential to do work. And I've given so much free training and free value and free advice. And yet most people just, you know, blow it off or don't take action. But the thing is like you can achieve success without me. People have been achieving success and launching amazing products and businesses and doing all kinds of cool stuff for like since the beginning of time pretty much. Uh, and they were doing it despite having no information and no internet and no coaches and no courses and no consultants. Like nowadays it is it's exponentially easier to achieve your goals, generally speaking. Like all of the information is pretty much out there now. I mean, not all of it, but a lot of it, more than ever before. So it's it's like what used to be like climbing Mount Everest. Now, like there's a staircase there. Like all you have to do is walk up that staircase. And, you know, the reason why 99% of people don't ever get their product ideas launched and making them money is not because they haven't figured out the latest hack or the latest tactic or whatever. It's because they're not consistently executing every single day. They're not putting in the necessary work and energy, okay? <clears throat> and this trumps every kind of stupid service you can buy, every contract, again, every course, every mentorship. 
uh, I've observed that like di- people who don't have any of that stuff, what do they do? People who actually end up achieving success, they get there because they plow through their fucking obstacles, guys, okay? They plow through whatever shit is in their way and they just keep going no matter what and they figure it out and nothing can stop them because they have that number one core ingredient, which is like desire and a willingness to to fucking do something and execute and give up the stuff that's distracting them and getting in their way. But like you... If you're not successful and you've been, you know, sitting on your idea for like five plus years or 10 or 20 or 30 or whatever, I'm going to tell you right now the number one reason why, and not just the number one reason, like the sole reason why you haven't achieved it is staring back at you in the mirror right now. It's because you haven't put the time into it for fuck's sake. Like, and you can't be bothered to, to do it because you're making every excuse under the sun why you can't utilize this free human being in front of you that can do anything. It can fucking do anything. And yet you're still finding ways to blame everyone and everything. And that doesn't mean that like it's going to happen overnight, but you have no excuse why you can't do this. It's not like you're doing something that's never been done before. Like how many millions of people have gone on to launch successful products that made them a fortune and let them retire early? And yet here you are, like still complaining, still uh, acting like the world is out to get you because you have these self-limiting beliefs, this like traumatic childhood or whatever it is where you, you'll twist your mind into a, a pretzel. You'll do mental gymnastics just to avoid taking accountability for the fact that like you aren't being, you aren't putting in the effort consistently. You aren't doing the fucking work that it takes. And that's on you. Yeah, I'm sorry if you got screwed over by a company. I'm sorry if like, you know, money has been tight for you. But guess what? These are not insurmountable problems. It's just that you're letting everything else get in your way. You're letting entertainment at the end of the day trump your goals. You're you're clearly not pushing and plowing through. I've fucked up. I've made mistakes trying to launch products. I lost $17,000 on my first product. Yeah, it takes time. It takes money. It takes grit. It takes pain. But guess what? Like the time is going to pass. And at the end of those five years or 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, like you're going to have something or you're not going to have something. And that's totally up to you. So yeah, I know that the people who need to hear this message have already dropped off long ago because for them, looking into a mirror deep into their soul is like the most painful thing ever because they aren't comfortable with the idiot staring back at them and they're unwilling to address that. But, you know, so yeah, if you're listening to this still right now and you haven't dropped off, you're the type of person who's, you know, just simply does what it takes. And so let this just be an affirmation to you, a reminder of something that you already know and you've already accepted, which is the secret to success is you, right? You are your own best friend. Uh, And you can also be your own worst enemy. Okay, onward and upward. Thanks for listening. Bye.